who wants to take this one? Okay. Um, so um, we have a piece of skin that is perfectly like rounded. Yeah. Looks like a dome. Um, looks like uh, perhaps April skin. Good. Um, because of the hyperkeratosis. And then the dermis is all fibrotic and um, kind of in fascicles throughout. Yeah, good. That look like somewhat eosinophilic. Yeah, it's a faded, it's a faded older slide, but still, even though it's faded, you can tell this was all collagen in the background here. Definitely eosinophilic and pink bundles, fascicles of spindle cells. Good. Okay. And then, so there are like elongated nuclei as well um, in the fascicles. And then if you look like close, it's kind of hard. I thought it was hard to see, but there are these um, little pink balls. I think they're yeah. like active balls in there. Um, helpful for identifying what this is. And it would be uh, an inclusion body fibroma. Very good. Yes. And I, I like what you said. This is a dome-shaped papule. If ever there was a dome-shaped lesion, this is it, right? A perfect dome. And it's got acral skin epidermis. The dermis is replaced by a bland spindle cell proliferation arranged in fascicles. Sometimes it can extend down into the subcutis. Usually kind of fills up the dermis like this and it has kind of these somewhat intersecting fascicles of bland fibroblasts or myofibroblasts. And at a close look, you see those little pink balls of, like you said, they're tangled up actin, fi uh, actin uh, fibers. And so those are the so-called inclusion bodies. And people have proposed various stains over the years to try to highlight these. But honestly, if you just look closely on H&E, they usually stand out pretty nicely. Um, uh, you just have to know to look for them. They don't, they don't really catch your eye at first glance until you know that it's a thing to look for. And then once you see them, you're like, oh yeah, they're everywhere. So see, they're all over, all these little pink dots in all the cells all over the place. So this goes by uh, two different names. One is uh, infantile digital fibroma, and the other is inclusion body fibromatosis. And I kind of, sometimes I have trouble remembering which way to mix, mix and match those, but uh, it, those are the two names for it, infantile digital fibroma and inclusion body fibromatosis. And as the name, the first name suggests, they occur in babies on the digits. So, uh, and they're benign, but they can recur. And uh, that is a really nice example of one. Very good. Oh, the one thing I was gonna point out is a, an occasional thing that I have seen is if I'm thinking about this entity and looking at, you know, a bland spindle cell thing on the digit of a kid, and I'm wondering oh, whether inclusion bodies, sometimes erythrocytes, extravasated erythrocytes can kind of mimic the inclusion body. So I have had that come up where I thought, oh, is that an inclusion body or is it just a random red cell? See, like, like right here, it's clear those are red cells. And then these are inclusion bodies here and here and here. But if you're like just, you know, just out here, like, I don't know, you could, you could wonder, is that a red cell? It's actually an inclusion body here, but, but you could struggle with that, you know? So I, at least I've struggled with it before occasionally. So that's one thing that sometimes can trick you. All right, good.